Hi guys, welcome to our Maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at functions. Now before we start, I'd just like to remind you of the £250 prize giveaway at the end of each month in 2021. Full details on how to enter will be discussed at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way through to the end. Now if we take a quick overview, a mathematical function is a relationship between two sets such that each variable or member is related to each other in some way. A function usually has the notation f of x or this letter here, the f can be any letter that you want, sometimes it's g of x, sometimes it's p of x, it doesn't matter, this is function form. You have to use function notation throughout maths, however it hasn't been given an official name yet, so you're probably familiar with the forum, it's just it's never been given a proper definition before. And you can also sketch these graphs based on the equation by substituting in a range of values into the equation. Now the the longer so the, the higher maths course will take this to a new level where we can model these in a completely different way but at National 5 we're just going to look at the fundamentals of functions. So if we take a look at question 1, it gives us this function here of 6 minus 2x and it asks us to define the values of f of 2 and f of minus 2. So we'll look at f of 2 first. Now what we basically have to do here is say that the 2, in this case, has replaced the x. So whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you must do to the other side. Therefore, if we find f of 2, then we replace x with 2 on that side, which means we replace x with 2 on that side. And then that would just become f of 2 equals 2 because 6 minus 4 is 2. And then the process is exactly the same for minus 2. So we have 6 minus 2x. We'll replace x with minus 2, and that will give us x is minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, so f of minus 2 is 10. And then question 2 is... It asks us to draw the graph of the function f of x equals x plus 2. So what we can do here is create a table with a variant set of x values and the corresponding function value which we will assume is y equals f of x. Because really this is y equals mx plus c. So we'll just say that y equals f of x. And then we'll create a table like this. So what we basically do is we set a range of x values, so we just assume these, and then we substitute them into the equation, and that will give us the corresponding value of y. So these are basically coordinates, so minus 2, 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, and 4, 6. Because if we take minus 2 and put it in here, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, and then if we replace x with 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, and then if we replace x with 2, it becomes 4 for the y, etc. And that's how we begin to construct our graph. So then we will just draw our x and y axis, we'll label them, and we will then plot the data that we, were, that we created in the table. So there's 0, minus 2, 0, 2, 2, 4, and 4, 6. And then we run a line through that. And that is our equation of y equals x plus 2. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, in order to win the £250 prize giveaway each month, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and answer the following question correctly. Only valid subscribers with the correct answer will qualify to the £250 draw each month. The more videos you comment, the more entries you will have. So this question gives us a function g of x, which is x squared minus 6x plus 12, and it's in the form of a triromial. And we need to determine the value of g of minus 3, and then determine what the value of the y-intercept is 
if we were going to draw the graph. Now, we don't want you to draw the graph. We simply want to know what the value of g of minus 3 is and then what the value of the y-intercept is, just the y-value. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below along with the correct answer to the question we just seen. And we'll see you in the next video.